Greetings one and all. Happy Cast Iron Wednesday. Hope everyone is doing well. Making dinner. And I'm going to be making, um, well, one thing I've never made before from scratch is chicken tenders. And I'm going to be making grits to go with it. And um, I was going to do something a little bit more elaborate, but then I thought, no, I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to grits, so I'm just going to keep it simple. And unfortunately, I'm not going to cook the grits. I'm going to cook them in a saucepan because, that's my lid, um, you know, for reasons. So, let's uh, get the camera down and I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, so I got my oil heating up. This is uh, the peanut oil. I also threw a little bit of all of the vegetable oil in there, so I'm mixing, um, I'm crossing the streams. This is a saucepan for my soon to be grits which I'm gonna do more than just make plain grits I've got my chicken tenders that have been soaking for about two and a half hours maybe three hours no three uh, four hour, three and a half hours four hours four and a half hours I don't remember now they've been soaking in buttermilk in the fridge the last half hour I pulled them out and I'm gonna drain them I got my uh, grits pre-measured right here with a scoop or a whip to make sure they're smooth. I could use a fork, but I'm gonna use a whip. Then I got my flour. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain off the buttermilk. And then we'll drain most of the buttermilk out and dredge it in flour and then dip it in the oil. So right now I'm just waiting for my oil to heat up. All right, I'm kind of getting all prepped ready. I got my drainage pan with my tongs. I got my skewers here for flipping the tenders my water's still not on but i got my oil heating up i drain the chicken which i pre-seasoned in the pan which you saw so it's ready to go basically it's going to be pan flour dredge and then straight into the batter so flour should be okay for breading i'm going to see where my temperature is at Oh, I keep hitting the wrong power button on this. If you missed my video on this, I'll link it below. Just want to make sure that my oil is. See where my oil is at. So it's 2012, 220. So still heating up. 223. Still getting warm. So I got about, about just slightly above medium heat. So. I guess you see the uh, where the dial is. So, because last time it was high, I had it up higher, but it was uh, it it was it was a little too hot. So, just gonna make sure that I because uh, I can always raise it a little bit. Versus, it was harder to get it to cool down because of the um, how well the cast iron holds heat. So, all right. As soon as that's hot, I'll bring it back. And we'll start cooking. All right, I get the tripod up high. Just hit 350. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start frying these chicken tenders. A little flour on these guys.
Alright. I just want to make sure. Oh yeah. Tipping them to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Come on, you butthead. I'm not sure it's a thick one. Keep uh, cook the rest of these. Oop. Okay. All right. Water to one nut. And that down. Hello. Lid on. Sweet. You got the uh, basically four tenders all cooking at the same time. And those are frying up real nice. Real nice. I foolishly uh, turned the wrong burner down when I was making my grits. Yeah, you gotta adjust. Sorry. So I had this uh, burner. I turned down the back burner. I had the, the one front burner here with my grits on high still, and I realized. It only took about, I don't know, 30 seconds. I was like, oh crap. So I, had to, I had to kind of scramble to fix it. Nice and smooth. I'm going to pull that chicken off. It should be about, it's looking, got some nice color. Well, I'm going to call it done. I'll leave this bigger one in a little longer. Oop. Remember what I said about uh, tongue safety? Always down that channel. I'll pretty much remind any any time I'm doing any time I'm frying. I'll basically remind everybody. Actually, I had a buddy get burned. He was deep frying some gyoza. And you let it run down the track like I talked about and it burned his hand really good. Alright, got the uh I'm not just making plain old grits, I'm gonna be making uh cheesy grits. I actually uh I heaped the spoonful the quarter the quarter uh cup I actually had it heaped. When I put it in there, I made I wanted to intentionally make them a little thicker. Because I was gonna put it on the plate with the chicken tenders. Oh. First are officially done. Pull the last chicken, kill the heat. 
Now for the grits, I'm gonna add a little bit of, little bit of Parmesan cheese, or grated Parmesan. I'm also gonna be adding some cheddar cheese. Oh yeah. And a little bit of black pepper. Make these sort of a savory grit. So stir it in there. I left the heat. I turned the heat off, but I left I'm still on the burner, so it'll melt the cheese. Oh, it's gonna make a salad and I forgot. I guess I can always make it after dinner. Mm. Cheese melted up nicely. Let's go ahead and plate it. I happen to have a plate right here. Well, I'm gonna wipe up my mess. There we go. We got cheesy, cheesy grits. I actually wanted them a little thicker, but Oh well. Although I guess I could have left them on the stove to thicken up a bit. So I'll put a couple of chicken. Tenders here with it. And there we go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I got some cheesy grits with uh, butter and Parmesan and cheddar. Oh man, my cheesy grits are good. Really good. Mmm. I try the uh, chicken tender. Some of the batter was kind of falling off though. So. Maybe I'll just. Cut it with a spoon. You know, it was a bite of the chicken tender. Tell you what, the batter on them is delicious. I mean, really good. Wow. Can hardly stop eating it. So, uh, a little crispy batter here. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna go eat dinner, and I'll bring, I'll come back when I'm done. Well, I gotta say, that was damn good. It's actually the first time I've ever made chicken strips at home, and uh, they were money. But, uh, really good. Batter was real good. Grits were tasty. Nice and cheesy. Good meal. So. As anyway, as always, I thank you for watching, and uh, links below will be in the description. And uh, have a great day. Catch you, catch you next week.